Okay, so here's a tutorial video where I'm going to show you how to draw Booster 951's Warrior Tag character, Featherpool. Let's do it. Okay, so to start off, just draw a circle, which will later form the head. Drawing one line directly down the circle and one directly across the circle. This will later serve as a guideline for the face. Keep in mind to draw lightly so that later on you can erase any mistakes or unneeded markings if you have to. From the circle, just bring down two lines that will form the neck and later the body. So then we're going to start on the back end by forming a curve. To get an idea of what the back leg's going to look like, we can just make a light oval. And then start forming the front leg in a V shape. Here's what we got so far. Now I just start drawing in light circles for the compass. You can add details in later on. And then we can coil the tail around it. Time to add in the ears. Keep in mind that real cat ears are not perfectly triangular. And time to add in the eyes, which are not perfectly circular, but almond shaped. Again, try to keep them as symmetrical as possible. We're going to want to bring the nose down from the eyes. Curve kind of inward. Now for the mouth. You can curve the lines upward because we all want our cats to be smiling, right? Add the chin in a little below the lip line. When adding details of the paws, just draw in four ovals to make the toes. You can add claws if you'd like. For the upper toe, just draw in a little half circle a little way up the leg. Try to keep perspective in mind. The farther away something is, such as toes, the smaller it becomes. Now time to refine the details.
Now we're going to want to develop the eyes more by shading around the rim and connecting it to the bridge of the nose. Now for the first, we're going to keep it simple because we can always add on more later on during the editing process. Try to keep the fur flowing so that it doesn't end up looking like a bunch of random spikes. Add some in on the ears. Back to the eyes. Adding pupils. There's our basic sketch, so let's move on to the editing process. I'm 
Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions or want clarification, just ask me in a video comment. Thanks for taking the time to watch.